Hi there folks, my name is Novoin24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your once location for your simulation release news and goings on from the week that was. So here we are on October the 31st, 2021 for a very special spooky edition of the Nova app this week and we're going to jump straight into it with the sim of the hour Microsoft flight simulator with some scenery releases leading the charge with Fly Tampa re re releasing their reboot of Ath Athens International Airport so um this is interesting for me as a release looking at this one. So initially, I oh, I almost wasn't going to cover it because it was like, oh, it's just they just ported over their one from from prepared and explained, giving you the. But I've got to admit that some of the things they've included here are pretty cool. Um, so uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot of information here. They're very very generic. They sort of just give the same um stuff description they give for all platforms which hey fly tampa you got to do better than that you really do anyway um they do say that it is an up-to-date 2021 version of the airport when in 2021 not sure but they do say it is update to the current layout now beyond that um PBR, texturing materials, all the usual good stuff that we find to see. But what really got me was some of the animations that are included with this release. So we've got uh, animated flags throughout, animated lights on some of the surrounding buildings uh, as well. Uh, the animated train that sort of services the airport is fully done as well, which actually goes underneath one of the taxiways. So that's really kind of cool. Um, and animated passengers inside the terminal. Like, I know it's a small thing. I know a lot of people sort of say, oh, it's going to kill frames, whatever. Well, I mean, flight temper scenery generally kills frames anyway, um, but it's just really interesting, really kind of cool to see that kind of extra detail and different stuff coming to the flight sim. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to highlight, I think that's really, really cool. If you are wanting to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for 18 US dollars or your original equipment available from Flight Tampa or your favorite flight sim retailer available now. Continuing on with scenery releases this week, developer V-Pilot Designs released two airports this week for MSOS. Uh, the first one they released is Winch Westchester County uh, Airport, uh, which is a New York City metropolitan airport. Um, I, again, I'm going to sort of leave the chart here and sort of say this one is that just like the Fly Tampa one, there's very little information about these releases. Um, so yeah, the Westchester uh, uh, County Airport release, um, it just gives a copy passer of the Wikipedia description. Um, looks like an air, look, looks like, yeah, I mean, it looks good. It does what it says on the tin. Um, the only thing that I sort of look at, like the, the application of snow looks really good in, in the snowy weather. Um, overall, the airport looks good. The only thing I'd probably say is that the uh, one of the, the FBOs, they modeled the they modeled the the hangar with an open door, but it's just a texture behind the open door rather than uh, either being able to like taxi in there or start in there or having like a three D model interior, which just seems a little not up to standard. I mean, yeah, I mean it's just it's a small thing. It's just it noticed it in one of the publicity shots. Uh, otherwise, I mean, not much to say. Looks what looks like it looks like what it does says on the tin. Um, and this one is available for seventeen US dollars or your original equivalent, available from the InSim marketplace. In the other release from V Pilot Studios was the release of Tokuman International Airport, uh, which is the uh, main as uh, the the airport that serves the capital of Panama City. Um, so this is a, a detailed rendition of the airport with all airport buildings modelled, including the heliport and the fire station for the airport as well, as well as a variety of nearby landmarks, including a Rommel, Rommel Fen, Fernandez Gutierrez Stadium and a variety of ships and the Panama Canal as well. So you can pick this one up for a little bit higher price of 21 US dollars or your original equivalent, again, available from the Inets in Marketplace. And both of those releases, by the way, folks, are available for PC and Xbox users available now. Moving out of Microsoft Flight Simulator and moving into the world of X-Plane for more Flight Sim releases this week. Uh, this time from starting with developer Tolis uh, released their rendition of the Airbus A340-600. So this gives us a highly detailed uh, rendition of the A340 and, and claims to have the most accurate system functionality for any A340 aircraft in the flight simulation world. Uh, and to includes a fully detailed flight management system, uh, including a full uh, custom integration for SID STARS procedures uh, into the 
FMGS system. Includes full VNAV uh, guidance, full support for NAVAID, NAVAID auto tuning, a pilot database, and a variety of other uh, measures as well. Includes a fully accurate fly by wire system uh, with full reversions between normal and alternate laws, a full hydraulic model, f uh, model simulation, bleed modeling done correctly, uh, as well as a f detailed model of the ADIRU, including a different alignment, including alignment, small pressure sensor differences, uh, and switching of primary sources for PFDs. It also includes a custom fault injection system with over 140 system faults, system faults that you can trigger either uh, manually or randomly during any flight phase. Uh, highly detailed 3D model, both interior and externally, including a four-class passenger cabin uh, with underfloor lav the lavatories and crew rest uh, features as well. I don't know how you access those, but that'd be kind of interesting. Uh, and a variety of uh, usability features, including it be able to jump a waypoint to waypoint through a uh, cruise phase. I'm not even going to make a comment about that. Uh, adjustable wind flex uh, and a variety of other features are included with this as well. And you pick this one up for 90 US dollars or your original equivalent available from explain.org. Continuing on with aircraft releases from this time from developer FlyJ Sim. So this week, the release of their rendition of the Dash 8 Q400. So uh, this has been a long time since that from, from the, the FlyJ Sim developers. Uh, so it was nice to see it finally released. Uh, so the Q400, for those who may not know, is obviously the is the uh, ultimate and sort of the um, the the most common nowadays uh, version of the old school Dash 8, uh, which is a, a medium range turboprop regional airliner. Uh, it, although it is no longer a stall aircraft. The Dash 8 was originally supposed to be a stall aircraft and it was all the way up until the Q400 and now it's just a turboprop jet. Anyway, another conversation to have. Uh, this includes a highly detailed rendition of the aircraft, claiming to be the most detailed again in flight sim. Uh, includes a highly detailed uh, 3D model, both internally and externally, with full 4K PBR texturing support throughout. A fully functional uh, for aircraft cabin, uh, both in the cockpit cabin and in the main passenger cabin as well, with a full support for a virtual flight attendant as well. Highly detailed flight deck with all systems modeled, including the UNS, uh, e, UNS-1 EW flight management system. The full electrical system has been accurately modeled, including DC and AC options, uh, MFD electrical displays, APU power, and more. Flight controls and hydraulics are also fully simulated as well, including uh, the way the display, the dispensation of the system uh, and the hydraulic power distribution and other features as well along with the pneumatic pneumatic bleed air and ice protection systems fully simulated as well a variety of EFIS systems as well and a whole heap of stuff as well and you're going to get sick of me saying that two words that everybody picks up that I say a lot because there's not much else to say anyway uh, yes highly detailed there comes to it there full custom sound set included with this, included with, this uh, with their custom EFB the JPAD also included along with uh, custom third-party integrations, including SAM and AutoGate support, uh, as well as the better pushback plugin and Honeycomb Flightware software systems as well. And you can pick this one up for 80 US dollars or your original equivalent available from explain.org. Continuing on with x -Plane releases this time in the scenery world. Uh, so Aerosoft has released this week uh, from uh, with uh, in, in partnership with Maps to X-Plane, their rendition of St. Croix uh, for X-Plane 11, which is the largest island of the United States Virgin Islands in the Caribbean Sea. Uh, includes a highly detailed rendition of Henry E. Ronson Airport on the main on St. Croix with all airport buildings, terminals, and hangars modeled as they appear in 2021 with custom, uh, custom ground texture and custom ground poly used throughout with custom overlay of vegetation, road network, and auto gem buildings provided for the airport and surrounding areas as well. Also includes a highly de uh, detailed a detailed rendition of Christian Sand and Fredrickson uh, with selected landmarks, as well as uh, Christian Sand's seaplane base included as well. And you can pick this one up for twenty five US dollars or your original equivalent. Available now from Aerosoft. Moving out of the flight sim world, moving on to ground level. Uh, this week, I saw this week of the release uh, into early access of Steel Crew, a tank simulation game in a full, for a full VR experience. Um, uh, so this is a highly detailed multi-crew uh, combat simulator. So much like that we've seen, we, we saw something similar with Wolfpack for, to do submarines. Uh, we just saw something similar for spaceships with an Enterprise Star Trek themed one as well, which his name escapes me at the moment. Um, yeah, Steel Crew ends, aims to recreate that except for you know, being a tanker simulation. So you can join a tank as either a driver, gunner, or commander, uh, and you can actually sort of uh, team up uh, with other tanks or against other players uh, to take on grand battles as well. 
Now, while it is built for VR and is designed, optimized for VR, it, you don't have to have VR to still use it. You still can't use it without that, uh, but it gives custom and highly detailed interiors uh, for a, uh, at the moment, I believe there's only one tank model included, I think. Um, sorry, uh, sorry, two sorry, two tank models are included. Uh, Russian T-34 uh, and a American Sherman are the two tank models that are included at the moment. And as I said, you can take on any one of three different roles across the uh, across the crew and you can pick this one up for 18 us dollars or your original equivalent available now on steam uh, moving out of combat sims moving into more uh something more peaceful pursuits uh this one normally we would go to train sim but we're going to train sim with a difference to start with this week so this is model railway easily two um and <laughs> this is really kind of cool this one so uh this is basically uh, you get to build a model railway now some would argue that like train sim train simulator and train sim world you're kind of already doing model railways but just real life ones this is actually building a model railway on a virtual desktop and i do not see a problem with this i think this is kind of cool as somebody who built models for for many many years uh, as both as both a, a younger as a as a young man and and sort of moving into my in my adult life as well um i fully support anything that allows me to play with models again uh because i don't currently due to my housing situation i don't get to have uh gonna get to build actual plastic models anymore so this this is kind of cool. I like it. Um, it's not, you know, it's not a, it's not trying to be something that it's not. It is is the probably the best the best thing to say on this one is that it is literally trying to recreate models. So you start with you create the scenery, you create the train, you 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 change how it looks, you change how it feels, just like you would on a real diorama base. Uh, you add tunnels in, you add tracks in, you put little trains in and have them go around, have them stop at stations. You go through different materials. Like it's just really cool like it just really really cool like it, it it it's not trying to be something that it's not it's probably the the best thing that i can say is one of the best things i can say about this is that i haven't played it but it just looks cool i think it's awesome uh so yeah if you're into it, then that whole if you ever did build models as a kid uh or an adult and you want to be able to give it another crack a go it's probably not a bad thing for you to look at if you're interested i mean i did just buy balsa wood flight simulator so i'm not yeah this is this is kind of cool i mean if I if they if 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 FX come out with an FX construction kit construction sim, I will probably get it because that's the only way I'm going to get to any of the several thousand FX kits that I have sitting in my storage locker. Anyway, moving on. If you want to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for twenty US dollars or your original equivalent. Available now on Steam. All right, continuing on with the more normal train simulator, the permanent way just that we talk about here, starting with Train Sim World 2. Uh, so this week, the release of their latest train for Train Sim World 2 with the release of Southern British Rail Class 313 Electric Motive Unit. Uh, so this was a uh, class of railway units uh, that uh, were, was delivered into service between 1976 and 1977. And are based uh, in on the on the East Coast Main Line, as well as the North London to Watford routes as well, uh, includes uh, which would service on well into the 20, uh, 2010s, uh, At which point, the London Overground did replace them with their Class Three Seventy Eights. So this particular gives us uh, this particular release gives us a highly detailed rendition of the British Rail Class Three One Three Slash Two EMU in the Southern Coastway livery, including a highly detailed feature-rich driving cab with accurate true-to-life performance and handling, a highly detailed three D model, both internal and externally, uh, with training modules and three detailed and engaging career scenarios for the East Coastway, uh, Eastbourne and Seaford route add-on, which you do need to have in order to make fully compatible, full use of this release. And if you want to pick this one up and add this to your virtual train set, you can add this, pick this up for 20 US dollars or your original Kovlan, available now on Steam. In the other release, we're moving on to Train Simulator from Train Sim World. So, Train Simulator, the release this week for them was for the Northeast Corridor Scenario Pack number two. Uh, so, this is the second uh, so scenario release pack uh, to come through for this particular area uh, by recreating a variety of Amtrak's uh, routes, including their premier high speed routing, uh, as long as a variety of freight operations, as well as freight and passenger operations and commuter services throughout the network. Uh, includes a variety includes 10 action-packed career scenarios for your for your options uh, as said covering off across a variety of rolling stock um, as I said from high speed to commuter to freight
like this inclusions as well. Uh, there is a stack of add-ons to be able to, that you need to be able to have to be able to get make full use of this one. Please check the, uh, check the release for that one if you are going to pick this up. And you can pick this one up for ten US dollars or your original equivalent. Available now on Steam. Moving on to a permanent way release of a different kind this week. Uh, so this week we release uh, the latest map for Lotus Simulator with a release of Dresden 2000. Uh, so Lotus Simulator is an interesting uh, sort of early access sim which aims to sort of unify the experience for uh, rail, tram and bus uh, and underground. Um, it's still very much in early access uh, and this um, uh, this latest map release for, for that sim uh, it does continues to reflect that concept as well uh, where they're doing a uh, sort of like a phase release process so this recreates uh, the, the German city of Dresden uh, in, um, in in 2000 in the uh, sort of uh, late so 1998 to 2002 period and by introduces you to the options of uh, running a tram system in the, the in that city. Now, currently, this product is in its first phase of a planned three phase of development by including a, a basic tram system and, a, and one sort of tram one tram route, uh, which is about approximately eight kilometers long. There are two more phases uh, planned, and as the phases get released, the price will continue going up with. But if you buy it now at uh, the this earlier stage, you do not pay extra for the phases as they come as they get introduced later on. Uh, so yeah, the later phases add in additional trams, additional tram routes. Uh, we're looking at eventually there will be th looks like th three, possibly four routes eventually. Um, once you get to the full, sorry, there'll be three routes eventually, and these uh, and these routes will cover timetables for the years from 1998 to 2002, as well as full AI integration. And if you want to pick this one up in its current state, you can pick this one up, as I said, it's very much an early access state at the moment, and it very much reflects that. Uh, you can pick this up now and for $25 US or your original equivalent, available now on Steam. Uh, that is then a perfect segue into the other release for the trans trans transportation world with the release for the latest DLC for OMSI 2, the Iris Bus family of low-entry buses. Uh, so this uh, gives the Iris Bus brand uh, the low-entry coach series that was first introduced in 2006. Uh, which is from the uh, the the parent brand of Iveco. Uh, Iveco. Uh, so this introduces two different uh, types of uh, buses, buses: the Crossway L, uh, LE Urban and the Crossway LE Suburban range of buses. Uh, each one designed to have a the, the low floor low floor buses designed to maximise the capacity during commuter on on commuter routes. Uh, now this includes twenty different models across uh, as I said across two main two main variants, and then in the sub sub variants then have different engine options. Options, internal options and length options uh, with different doors, etc., and ticketing systems included as well. Custom coded ticket printer, versatile customized versions, authentic sound sets recorded from original vehicles, and of course, highly detailed models throughout. And if you want to pick this one up for your bus driving simulation experience, pick this one up for 18 US dollars or original equivalent, available now on Steam. Sticking with the asphalt and moving in onto American Truck Simulator. This time, so this week, the release of the Retro Wave Paint Job Packs uh, this week. Uh, so this gives uh, 22 paint themes of what has to be described some of the best graphic designs I have ever seen. Like, I just have nostalgic time for that sort of really cheesy, like, 80s, 90s sort of synth wave style. I just have an absolute, I am an absolute sucker. I really, really am for that one. Um, so as I said, this gives 22 paint themes, uh, two shared paint themes for all trucks, and then two unique paint schemes for each truck featured into the sim. Uh, they are look absolutely something. We absolutely need the giant shoulder pads and the absolutely massive hair to go with this one. And you pick this one up, <laughs> if you want to add this one up, pick this up for standard price of two US dollars, or original equivalent, available now on Steam. Sticking with the asphalt, we're moving a little quicker this time. We saw this week the release of NASCAR 21 Ignition into the world of racing games. Uh, so this uh, is the official uh, NASCAR as uh, NASCAR branded game uh, for 2021, uh, giving uh, a it, it claims to give a, a great experience uh, by uh, including the complete list of official drivers, teams, and tracks from the 2021 NASCAR Cup Series, uh, including presentation broadcast 
highest quality pre-race build-up, uh, replays, uh, and full custom driving physics, and, uh, and and a highly detailed uh, rendition of each vehicle included with the racing format as well. Includes uh, custom paint booths, so you can make your own customization, customization of your vehicle. Uh, supports online and offline, uh, so online uh, multiplayer options, uh, as well as a full career mode as well. Now. The I'm going to sort of say here. I'll, I'll be first to say I do not fly. I do not play driving games. I don't. Um, but again, and this is something I notice with a lot of releases these days, is that there's a lot. There's, there's very little detail in the release information that came out from the dev. Um, reading through the reviews, though, oh dear, goddess, this thing's been ripped apart. Um, overwhelmingly negative uh is the uh is the 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 current rating and it and with a number of users saying that it doesn't even recognize basic steering wheel which is a common thing throughout many many uh racing users so buyer beware on this one is all i can tell you so yeah from developer motorsport games yeah i'm you're gonna have to watch this one so if you want to pick this one up um there's uh, the main the standard edition uh, available uh there's also a deluxe edition which includes the season pass sorry the championship edition which includes the season pass uh which is apparently going to give you a variety of additional um gives you three unique dlc packs coming through later on um at some point over the next year so yeah just 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 be buyer beware for this one and if you want to pick this one up price starts at 60 us dollars or your original equivalent available now on steam moving off the asphalt and moving into the water still this week the release from dovetail games the release of bass master fishing 2022 um I haven't played a fishing game since Euro Fishing Simulator, uh, so I don't know a great deal about it. Um, and again, this seems to have a, a not a lot of information here. Um, it c- highlights that you have um, officially licensed, it's officially licensed con- content with all um, uh, fishing locations of the, the Bassmaster um Championship Tour are featured here as well. Includes uh, 10 avatars based on 10 pro anglers, uh, including uh, apparently two Scott Martin and Hank Cherry and eight other official pro anglers. Sorry, not into fishing. Don't know who you are. I'm sure you're very famous in those circles. Um, eight official venues uh, of real world venues for the actual um, tour with a full multiplayer experience as online modes as well as uh, custom single player offline career mode as well. Includes a variety of... Uh, uh, different features, including fish perspective uh, with underwater camera, um, GPS, fully featured GPS map system, um, fishing options around weeds. I don't know what I'm talking about with this one. I really don't. It claims to have improved fish AI and movement uh, based on time of day and and uh, fish behaviors. So kind of interesting. Um Mixed reviews coming from the community at the moment. Um, uh, there is also a, there's a, again, uh, there's a base edition and a deluxe edition. The deluxe edition includes a few additional, um, a, it includes additional boat and some cosmetic packs and lots of cosmetic stuff. So no real in, so you're not paying to win. It's just some cosmetic stuff you go for the deluxe edition. But you can pick this one up. If you wanted to pick this uh, fishing experience up for your uh, virtual life, you can pick this one up for 40 US dollars or your original equivalent. Available now on Steam. And finally, rounding out the Nova app this week, I saw it go as we launch to see us, sees us launching into space uh, with the release of the Naglafar for Star Conflict. So the latest uh, ship that gets released for the MMO uh, Space Simulator uh, was, is the Naglafar. Uh, includes a, uh, it's a, a don't really know much about it. Uh, apparently, it is the Nalgafar is a miracle of the Sentinels. Uh, such ships were designed for expedition to Sector 1337. However, all disappeared. Some have returned at the helms of mercenaries. Um, I know nothing about Star, uh, Star Conflict, so I can't really tell much about this, but there are two versions of this available, uh, the base edition and then a uh, deluxe edition, which includes uh, some additional um, premium content uh, including premium uh, weapons and and defensive modules are uh, included for that one. And you can pick this one up for 40 US dollars or your original equivalent available now on Steam. And with that, folks, that does now round up the Nova app for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these videos and want to see more. And, of course, as always, you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos. But just by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter and on Twitch, just search Nova Wing 24. 
All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.